can tell us your name and where are you from? My name is Dan and I live in Richland. And Dan, can you tell us how you um, came across Hungry Generation and what happened then? I came across the Hungry Generation crew about almost 13 years ago. Um, I played the drums for about two years for them when I, when I met them. And then what happened? And then uh, my parents divorced after 10 years of pastoring here in, in Washington State. And uh, that just devastated me. It led to drugs, violence, gangs, uh, couldn't hold a job, all, all relationships, uh, friendships uh, just wouldn't work. Uh, constantly incarcerated, so, um, setback after setback for a good five, six years. And then you said that you were trying to come back to God. What happened of you coming, trying to come back to church? I was really, I wanted to come back to church uh, right before the revival with uh, Wiseman Harry. And uh, I attempted to do that on my own without any mentors, without um, trying to do it on my own. I thought I knew enough of the Bible that uh, I could just do it on my own. And uh, that did not work. And then what happened afterwards? How your life began to turn around? When was the breaking point when you realized enough is enough? I, I could literally see how Satan had control of my life in every area, um, uh, spiritually, mentally, every, um, my finances, everything. It was in, out of my control. And I, after so many setbacks, in, I got tired of not having control. And so uh, um, recently rededicated my life. And uh, now this time around, um, I, I want to leave everything in God's hands uh, for him to take control. Can you tell us a little bit of how your life has been changing since that um, you rededicated your life to Christ? What is the difference that God has been making in your life? Now, now that, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing how God just, once he takes control, uh, it's, it's, it's endless the amount of faith that uh, can grow in you in trusting in God, knowing that he is taking control of everything. And ever since, ever since then, uh, I got married to my beautiful wife. And... Uh, And so I, with, with God's help, uh, I want to be a good husband and uh, a good father to, to both of my boys. And uh, just, I, I'm going to let him take control this time. Amen. Um, can you, do you have any advice for people that maybe like, when the same situation that you were, you know, coming to church, slid back, can you tell them something tonight? Encourage them tonight. Well, you know, God is... God of grace and mercy, and he forgives. Uh, I felt uh, useless, not worthy of even coming to church after seeing what he used, how he used me before, and uh, just let him take control. Don't, don't ever think that you'll be able to do it on your own and seek your mentors and, uh, and just let God take control. Amen.